Have you ever wondered if your iPad Pro could be used as a PC? The power and portability of an iPad Pro is what makes it rival such products like the Microsoft Surface or even the MacBook Air. So today, I'll be giving a few reasons on why I think the iPad Pro could be a solid PC option for some. Just like a PC or laptop, you can connect peripherals such as a keyboard, a mouse, and speakers via Bluetooth to give you that full PC setup. And with the proper stand, you can place it right up on your monitor for a clear view. So hooking it up to a monitor just doubles the ability to complete tasks. Like a PC or laptop, you can read and send emails, check out company papers, and even with the Office 365 app on the iPad, you still get the same ability to create Word documents, PowerPoints, and even the sales sheets as you would on a PC. Say that you want to have two apps open at the same time. This is possible by dragging the second app that you want over the existing one on your screen. You can watch lectures or YouTube videos on one side and take notes on the other. But be aware that not all apps are capable of multitasking. But you can still have other apps run in the background with quick access if you need to switch back and forth. Now you won't have the full feature access as you would on the PC, but you'll get the same fundamental experience for basic tasks. I wish they had the iPad Pro back in I was college. Those five, probably six years would have gone by much smoother and I probably would have got done in four years. One big difference I think the iPad lacks compared to a PC is a proper file system. But most aren't using the iPad for that, so if you're on the go, you can easily store it in your backpack without turning it off or closing apps. And for students, that's a plus because in one day you can have many classes just all jam packed in one time. So taking notes on apps like GoodNotes can save you from a lot of headaches. You can store the notes via the cloud and organize them to fit your schedule. And if you're like me, I enjoy playing the Xbox and PlayStation, which is another great feature the iPad offers. Nowadays, cloud gaming is growing and many are taking advantage of it. One thing I did realize is that you don't actually need an Xbox console to play on your iPad. If you have an active Xbox Game Pass subscription, well, an Ultimate Game Pass subscription, you have access to hundreds of games right on your iPad. So if you're in an area with good internet service, the amount of lag and service issue won't be a problem. I'm still trying to see if PlayStation has a dedicated cloud app for the, for the iPad, but for now, I know you can still cast your PS5 or PS4 directly to the iPad. I think this is pretty neat for a person that travels a lot and can't take their console with them everywhere. For content creators, the iPad's dedicated Adobe apps are available per subscription. You can edit videos and images while sitting on the couch and at the desk. And if you have the Apple Pencil or any other type of stylizer pen or pencil, apps like Procreate and Illustrator displayed on the monitor can give you more control and fine tuning the details of your drawing. The Apple Pencil comes in handy when needed to make quick selections on the screen and also when signing important documents. So you really can't go wrong with the iPad Pro. It's smaller than a laptop and can do more than an iPhone when you pertain it to work. But if your work requires more power and features, then the PC might be a choice for you. I'm signing out right now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.